Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about how to deploy process on multiple machines in UiPath Orchestrator. This is our the next video of UiPath Orchestrator. So we'll learn how to connect virtual machines with Orchestrator. So let's see. So let's see what is our agenda. We'll learn how to create multiple machines and manage machine. How to find machine name in your virtual machines. How to find UiPath robot if not in the tray how to find domain username in the virtual machines, how to deploy process on multiple machines in UiPath Orchestrator, how to install robot for enterprise user, how to install robot for community users. So I'm going to show you practically here. So for that, first I will open the UiPath Orchestrator. So I have already opened the UiPath Orchestrator. So first I will show you how to run the process on this machine and then I will add another machine on the virtual virtual machines so currently i have the windows 7 running on vm virtual box so i will show you here how to run the same process on this machine also so i have two machine one here i have the my personal laptop in that one i have installed windows 10 and this is windows 7 so i will show one by one so let me open uipath orchestrator so first we need to create a machine so for that we'll just click on add we'll take on a standard machine and then as i already told you in my previous video that you have to take the same name which is showing in the uipath robot orchestra settings we'll take the same name this because currently i'm going to run the process on this machine so i'm going to take this machine so i will add this create and then I will go to the robots and then click here take a standard robot I will select the machine that is Pande and the name will be uh, this is for the robot 1 and the name as I already told you in my previous video I am going to show you again we have to open the command prompt we have to write here who am I so this will show the domain slash username and if you want to get the name of the machine then we can write here just host name so this is same as this pande so currently we are looking for the domain username so we'll take this one the who am i then once we'll press enter it will copy from here then paste here now you can put the password of your windows so i'm writing the password now the type will be development because we are just doing the testing now create now the next things we need to create an environment to group all these robots in one environment as per the requirement as per the needs so i'm clicking here and writing for the development environments and create this and i'm going to map this with this this robot and the now the next thing is we need to take the machine key from here click on view copy this from here and then close and go to the your ui path robot click here go to the orchestra setting and then select the url orchestra url you can select this platform.uipath.com or you can copy the same thing from here anything and now click on connect okay so now we have connected here the status is showing connected licensed now close this and now open the robot page here it is showing robot one is available so now we can run our process on this machine so i'm going to now take one process from here go to the plus select the process because i have already deployed published the uh, project so we can take from here or if you don't know how to publish the project to the orchestrator you can go through my previous video so currently i'm going to take this uh, project to orchestrator then select the version now create this now i'm just going to the jobs page click on a start job select the process which i need to execute on my this machine select this select the robot which i need to run on this machine now click start so either we can 
start the job from the here or we can directly go to the here orchestrator and we can directly start from here so it is showing running we got the message here enter the computer name so this is Pandey now press ok so hi Pandey welcome to UI path orchestrator so by this way you got that how to run the process on one machine now I'm going to show you how to run the process on multiple machine so for that this is the virtual box and in this I have installed the Windows 7 and this is the same you can access everything how to install robot for enterprise user so there are two installers which can help you to install robot on your computer first uipath platform installer.exe and second uipath studio.msi so once we'll install that it will give this option the installation can also be customized to better suit your needs so you can once we'll click on the setup file that exe it will ask you to choose the your requirement like if you want to install only robot then you can select only robot if you want to st install a studio as well then you can select both there are multiple options register as a windows service install local activities feeds automatically start client java bridge chrome extension you can select this and you can install both so first i'm going to tell you like if you are going to use another machine then if you are enterprise user or you are community users you have to install robot uipath robot on the machine so if you are community user then there is only one installer which can help you to install studio and robot on your computer it doesn't give you us option to select the features to install as per your needs so this is the setup file you have to install then you will able to get the studio and robot in your virtual machines it means your different machine so there is no other option you have to install the uipath robot i am repeating this again you have to install uipath robot in your machine then you can run the process in multiple machines and if you are the enterprise user then you have to take the license to run the process on multiple machines and if you are community users then you just have to download the setup file and install in multiple machines and you can run that process on multiple machines for the testing purpose so let me show you how to do that so for this i am going to take the machine name i am i am going to create another machine for this windows 7 because i am going to run my process on this machine so first you have to install the uipath robot and if you are community edition users then you have to install the both studio and robots so i have already installed here here you are getting the robot if you are not getting in the tray then you can just go to the folder here and type your c drive then users then slash the username which is in your like computer here then windows 7 so currently i have taken the name of windows 7 then go to the app data then go to the local after that ui path so this is the location of the ui path agent that is ui path robot and the ui path studio so if you're not getting a studio as well then you can get from here and you can get the ui path robot from here and you can double click on that so it will show in the tray here so by this way you can find the robot now i'm going to create the machine for the virtual machine for the another machine so take a standard machine here the again the name will be same as the machine name so as i already told you you have to open the command prompt in the another machine so and you have to just write here host name so you will be getting the machine name here or you can directly open the ui path robot click on the settings and then click on orchestra setting so you are getting the machine name here copy this so this is same here also and then go to the orchestrator and paste here so windows 
seven hyphen PC. So this is the name of the machine. Now go to the robots. So I'm going to take another robot for a standard that is Windows 7 PC. The name will be uh, robot two, and the domain slash username will be the from the this name that is who am I. So this is. Let me copy this. This is Windows 7 hyphen PC slash Windows 7. So we need to type the same thing. Windows 7 hyphen PC slash Windows 7. And now if you have the password, you, if you have set the password of your this virtual machine then you have to write the password so currently there is no password for my virtual machine so i will not put anything here and then i will just create this so this has, has been created the standard robot has been created for the standard machine now i am going to the uh, machine name and i will copy the machine key i will copy this and now I will not able to paste here in the orchestra setting directly so for that I have the option here I am going to open the shared folder in my laptop and then we require to paste this key in the UI path robot so I'm going to take the shared folder key name from here and now copy and just select the URL and paste here the, the newest one then connect okay so now we have connected the another robots another machine so it is showing a status connected license now close this and close this as well close this folder now I'm going to the orchestrator, go to the robots and now you can see here we have the, the two robots available here one for the my current system this is and second for the Windows 7 that is my another system like that is virtual machines. So I'm clicking on environments here to just manage the environment. Okay, so I'm taking the robots here now update. So once I will update here and then in the robots page now the environment also showing here for this machine also now go to the process we have the process I'm going to run the same process on both machine so good okay so I'm just going to click on a start job select the process and just select the both machines because if you want to run execute the same process on both machines then select both or if you want to run on any one machine then you can uncheck and check this so currently I'm going to run the same process this project to orchestrate on both machines so click start so once we click a start the simultaneously it will uh, it will execute on the both machines so currently you can see the state that is running a few seconds ago now you can see here on the my this this Pandey machine I am, the process has been executed I am getting the input dialog box to enter the computer name and now I'm going to open the this machine so I'm getting the same thing here the same time we are, we are able to execute the process on both machines so first let me type here that is Pandey machine now enter so it is showing the message now ok so this process has been completed now I'm going to type the here that is Windows 7 So now it is showing how high Windows 7 PC welcome to the UI path orchestra so this is my second machine that is virtual machine now click OK so by this way we can execute the process on multiple machines so I hope you like this video thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you have any question please send me a mail or you can comment on videos if you have not subscribed my channel then please subscribe and please press the like button thank you so much friends